Hey, Valley Middle, welcome back to our second lesson on quadrilaterals. Tonight we're going to be finding the missing angle or angles. Here's a tasty trivia question for tonight. What was the largest pancake ever made? It's kind of a stunner, actually. Anyway, our official target for tonight, lesson 10.6b. I can find the missing angle or angles on quadrilaterals. All right, here we go. What is the measure of angle X? Take a look at this quadrilateral. So we've got 90, 110, 90, and we've got one missing angle here. Well, there are 360 degrees total in every quadrilateral. I've got that red there for you. That's the trick to everything. And just like finding the missing angle on a triangle, you do the same thing with a quadrilateral. You take the 360 degrees, you subtract the other angles. So 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus the 110 is going to give you 70 degrees. You pop that into a calculator. And then you could just take and stick that right in there. 70 degrees. Here's another quick way to look, think about it. Half of 360 is 180 degrees, right? So I use that landmark many times too. 90 plus 90 is 180. 110 plus 70 is 180. Oftentimes that's the way I check my math to make sure I did it right or I just add them all back up on the calculator and make sure I hit 360. That's going to be the lesson for tonight in a nutshell. Here we go. Angles of quadrilateral. Very simple. Here's the algebraic expression. W plus X plus Y plus Z equals 360 degrees. All these angles will add up to 360. If you're not sure why that works, take a look at this little uh, shape right here. I just enlarged that shape that they gave us. If I take and put this line in here, if I go from one vertex to another, I can divide that into two different triangles, can't I? And there are 180 degrees in each triangle, correct? Therefore, 180 plus 180 is 360. So let's try this example together. Here's that same quadrilateral, and instead of W, X, Y, and Z, I put in the actual measures with the exception of one. So how do we solve that? Let me just slide this guy over a touch, get my calculator out. All right, well, I take 360 and I just subtract the angles. I subtract 135 for that first angle. I subtract 80 for the second angle. And I subtract 95 for the third angle. And I get 50 degrees. So let me pop that in there. Whoops, that one goes down here, 50 degrees. Ah, I can't reach it. There it is, there's my 50. And then you add them up, make sure they total up to be uh, 360 degrees, and you'll be all set. Always double check your work. Let's try a couple more problems together. All right, here are some. Take a look at these ones and see if you can pause it and find the missing angle. Go ahead and try. All right, let's see how you did. Well, on this first problem here, it's going to be 80 degrees. 105 and 75, that equals 180 degrees. That's half of it, right? So I'm going to need 80 here to make another 180. I'm constantly using 180. It really is helpful. Here's two other ones. Look at 108 and 72. That equals 180. So this is going to be 75 degrees because 75 and 105 equal 180. All right? This one's a little trickier, but I can do it. This one was 90 degrees because 50 plus 150 is 200. 200 plus 70 is 270. And then 90 more would make 360. Slam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Three more. Here we go. Go for it. Let's see how you did real quickly this time. The missing angle would be 120 degrees in this one. Missing angle here would be 82 degrees. And the missing angle in number six would be 110 degrees. Okay? There's always a yeah, but, right? Yeah, but find the missing angles here. I've given you one angle. Yeah, but opposite angles will be equal in a parallelogram. Therefore, if this guy here is 120 degrees, this guy here has to be 120 degrees. Right? And if these two angles are equal, I can just take 
360 degrees, let me get my calculator, I can take 360 degrees and I'll subtract what I have, which is 240, that's 120 plus 120, subtract that 240, and I got 120 degrees left. And if I divide that, if these two angles are going to be equal, if I divide that by 2, that equals 60. So I can grab these guys and throw them in. 60 degrees here and 60 degrees here. And let's see if it checks out. 120 plus 60 is 180 degrees. And here's another 180 degrees. All right? So that isn't the 180 rule won't always work quite as smoothly when you have some uh, problems like this where you've got oddball numbers like 150 and 50. However, oftentimes the examples on problems will work that way. Just remember the total is, 100 and, or is 360 degrees. All right? Okay. Try three problems on your own. Go. I see dead people. I've only got a few videos left, so I've got to get that in a few more times. Actually, I think I only have one video left after this. All right, let's see how you did. All right, well, if this guy is 45, that means that this guy down here has to be 45. All right, and that means that this one is going to have to be 135, and this one is going to have to be 135. Right, right. If this one is 70, that means this, this bad boy up here has got to be 70. All right, I'm going to need to get to 180 somehow, so this is going to have to be 110, and this one's going to have to be 110. Over here, this one's 103, that means this bad boy here is 103. Got to get back to 180 again, so this is going to be 77 here, and 77 here. See how it, I didn't even, I just chose these examples, and a lot of times they add up to be 180 exactly. And they're doing that so that, to see if you understand how that rule works. All right, so 360 degrees total in any rectangle. Add up the angles you have. Subtract them out from 360, and then you're, there's your answer. If you're only given one angle, like on these problems right here, just remember that in a parallelogram, which includes rectangles, squares, uh, rhombuses, opposite angles are equal. All right, here we go. Here's your ticket to the show, and then I'll get to the world's largest pancake. There you go. Find the missing angles. Just one of them given, but it's a parallelogram. All right, here's the ticket to the show. I'm sorry, here's the trivia question. Largest pancake ever made? Check it out. It was made in England in 1994. It measured 49 feet, almost 50 feet in diameter. It was one inch thick and it weighed three tons. And they needed two different cranes to flip that baby over. Holy Hannah, that's a big pancake. All right, another trivia question. What are the best pancakes in Minnesota? Capital View Cafe. They've got banana pecan pancakes. Unbelievable. It's in St. Paul. See ya.